This is my boy Farahound Patrick. Right now, my dog family holds four Farahounds and I've been with this breed since the late 80s. I'm all about it, but is it a breed for everyone? Here is three things to consider if you're thinking about getting a Farahound. Prey drive. The Farahound has a high and prominent hunting instinct. Bred through centuries to hunt independently, it's not going to stop just because. Training might get you a fairly good recall, but you will probably have to take into consideration that you might very well need to exercise and run your farahound within fenced areas or in other ways in a safe place. Barking. The farahound is a very vocal breed, quick to use its voice when happy and playing, equally as when hungry, upset or bored. Some bark more than others, but they all bark. Good training and clear boundaries will help, but I have yet to meet a farahound that doesn't bark at all. Company. The social farahound is not a home alone for hours and hours breed. I'm not saying it can't be alone because of course it can, but since it's an easily bored and also very resourceful breed, it might turn into redecorating or other less impressive stuff if you leave it to its own for too long. Good exercise and no more than an acceptable length of time home alone is the answer. Then there's this extra bonus tip. When considering to get yourself a farahound, talk to the breed club, get in contact with a reputable breeder and prepare to wait for your puppy. And as you do so, learn all you can. Prepare with knowledge and patience because the farahound can show very little of the latter and you'll be fine. They are wonderful and funny dogs. And who knows, maybe we'll meet at some farahoundy event in the future.